Hello, thank you for joining me. In this film, film number seven in our series, uh, how to create a room schedule and insert that into a sheet. We have our first floor floor plan into a sheet, and we're going to enter our, our, you know, insert our, our room schedule that we created not too long ago into our sheet here too in just a few minutes. But first thing I want to do is show you the parametric relationships that we're dealing with here. What I like to do is edit this just a little bit more and take that section symbol and kind of move it around a little bit so it doesn't terminate on the stairs. The desire here is trying to make your sheet look as neat as possible. And it's, if it looks neat, it's going to certainly um, be easier, easier read. A neat, uh, well put together sheet, almost like artwork, is going to be easy to read by somebody who's uh, trying to extract information from it. And it will make your project uh, run a little bit smoother, I believe. So, let's go to our first floor plan that we had before. And now we don't have a, sh a sheet associated with it. We can make changes to this that will also be part of the it's going to be it's going to update to our sheet too so I'm going to move these in a little bit just to make it a little bit more attractive maybe try to line them up and uh, that looks pretty good we have a, a dimension text here that's kind of in the way so let's go ahead and move that and the very tail end of this section maybe move that so it's not terminated on a dimension line look for little things like that things that you could do to try to clean up your uh, you know, what you try the information you're trying to show when you have text sitting on top of lines, it's usually not very attractive. But when we do that, if we go back to our sheet, it updates it there too. Kind of neat. Let's go to our sheet and rename it. If we right click on it, go to rename, we're going to call our first sheet A for Architectural 100. And instead of a name, we're going to call that first floor all capitals of course and then go to OK you'll notice that as soon as we did that and maybe I should have pointed this out before we'll do control Z to show you what it looks like before the sheet was default named A101 if we created another sheet it will be defaulted to A102 um, and it went from uh, unnamed sheet to actually a name sheet so if we go back to control Y you can see that the, the numbers that we added in there A100 gets updated and the first floor gets put into our sheet. So that's another some of the parametric relationships uh, and associations that you get in Revit architecture. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some more additional items to our sheet before we get to our, uh, our room schedule. So some of the items that are associated with the sheet itself we can actually fill in here. So approve by instead of approver. Let's go ahead and put in a three letter uh, identifications in here and these three letters uh, are associated with your own initials so approved by perhaps myself CSS designed by you perhaps YOU Oop. checker me MEE perhaps sheet number is going to be A100 there's two places you can change that sheet name is first floor that we have already put in issue date is going to be 223.12 and drawn by again I'm going to make that myself or how about DWG and apply once we do that if we go back over here you can see all the fields that have been filled in the date has been filled in with today's date plot date we have a blank there for now check by drawn by designed by are all filled in what we don't have is approved by but uh, all these elements are filled in and the plot scale is going to be the scale that's already on the sheet uh, in regard to the floor plan we just put in now one thing that really stands out because I have a long address down here is our file name. I'm going to go ahead and delete that, but I'm going to save that for another film. If it gets really long like this, it's just too cumbersome, and there's probably an easier way. I just haven't been able to figure that out. So let's go ahead and put in a room schedule. Just like, just like we put in our floor plan, if you drag a room schedule in here, it drops in there as an element too. So we have to make some modifications to this, and I'm going to save that for the next film.